Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be talking about how to basically rebuild um, one of these uh, these more modern keyless um, keys for the for the keyless entry that you find on a lot of the cars, um, and pretty much how to replace the whole shell casing and to make a key like this pretty much like brand new again. So let's get started. With this one here that we're going to be dealing with, you can see this has seen better days. Um, you have the open button has pretty much fallen out. Um, you can see the rubber in here is pretty much cracking, breaking apart. It looks pretty rough. The actual key itself, as you can see, is pretty banged up. You go to open it, and this thing here is all jammed up. And it's just, just in pretty bad shape. Uh, it'll pop open sometimes, but then on other times it's all it's all messed up. So what we're going to do is basically take a completely new housing. We're going to take the guts out of here and then also take the key out of here and then replace it and uh, put it into this new housing here and make it all new and uh, hopefully that'll take care of the issue and we can get rid of this piece of junk right here. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how to do that. To get started, you're going to need a couple basic tools, uh, needle nose pliers, flathead screwdriver, um, I use a couple different sizes to make it easier, and pretty much just a lot of patience. Uh, you're going to start by popping open the back, pulling the battery out, put that off to the side, and then next, taking the needle nose pliers, insert it in here, gently expanding it and you'll notice that the shell will start to open and just be patient to open that up and then you'll need the um, flat um, flathead screwdriver to then go in and, and, and finish it off but let's go ahead and just gently pop that open everything came out um, this one was a little bit tight so we wound up having to, to crack it off there on the edges but here's basically the board that comes out that's the side where the battery goes and then you have the the key assembly here um, with the pin that holds it in place in the spring you make please make sure you don't lose those because we're gonna have to put this key into the new one since that's already been been cut and, and grooved for that so basically here are all the pieces here so now what we're gonna do is take the new the new um, keyless remote open that up and put all of this into it and then uh, everything should be fine so let's go ahead and get this open. We'll get those put in, and, uh, and we should be good to go with that. Okay, gently open that up. You can see it there. It's starting to come apart. Just gently expand that. There we go. Be careful with all of that. Just pop this open here. And then now we can put all the inside pieces into this and uh, put it back together. Okay, we have uh, the board put back in place. It clips in there nice. So gently put that in. We have um, the old key here mounted. But you'll see that there's a spring there. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and tighten up the tension of that spring just by rotating the key. That way that gives that the... Uh, uh, the spring to pop open so I'll give it one more turn and then we should be good to go so we have that in place that's good so now we can then take the other side of the housing go ahead and get that on there lock that on clip everything on there good let's go ahead and give it a shot so we have this key here we'll go in there and lock okay Okay, we'll go ahead and put the battery back in it. Make sure it slides under those two little, two little pegs right there. Um, if not, it'll won't get a good connection. And now we can go ahead and put the back on it. Okay, everything looks good. Lights work in there. You can see um, that wasn't working before. So now we go ahead and close it. Look at that. Nice tension, pops right up, everything looks good. We also went ahead and, and we moved uh, the Kia emblem that was originally um, on the back right here of the old one. We went ahead and moved that too. 
and uh, it just has a little bit of adhesive on it. So there we go. Everything's good to go. Key opens and closes perfect. Everything looks good. So um, that pretty much takes care of it. Well, there you have it. For just about eight dollars, uh, we went ahead and bought a whole new casing for this, and pretty much made made this key look like new again with all the buttons properly functioning, with the actual flip lock working the way it should. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Please send any questions, comments, and as always, uh, please like, subscribe. We thank you for your support, and we'll see you next time.